If you're building your website or restructuring an existing website, do not do the mistake of treating it like an exercise in text and design and layout. Use it as an opportunity to have an internal business discussion on what are our services, how we want to restructure them, what are the key messages, how do others look at us for, what over the last year or two did we thought we would sell more of and we're selling less of, uh, what things w uh, we're selling uh, more of than others, um, what do people come to us for and it's an opportunity to clarify internally and externally what is it that we're offering them, how we're gonna uh, sell it, uh, how we're going to provide that service. So you take the business discussion and then you look at the structure of it. What the structures typically look at is what's our key messages? What do you do and for who? And then uh, a representative image or video that would help. And then the key part are the service offerings. So the key service offerings. Every company has around anywhere from six to 20 different types of, of services, offerings, features, functions, whatever that, whether you're B2B services or, the, or direct to consumer with uh, features and functions. So uh, the key ones, not the ones that we're really happy about internally uh, ourselves and new feature. Uh, it's more about what, what do people come to us for. And, uh, and then after that, you'd look at some form of credibility. So you have, uh, testimonials and updates from your customers with regards to how they use your service. And then if you have uh, press coverage, uh, articles, comments, participation in events, whatever, that also adds to that. So these are our services. This is who we are and who we service. And then these are examples of how others like you have done this before. And this is how we are active in the industry, whether press or industry events and so on. To talk about text and design and layout, that's the, that's the part where everybody jumps in. Uh, to highlight very specific elements. Whatever you sketch or think about and do, please let it be tight and long for the mobile device. I work with websites, uh, I advise websites uh, and customers all, all throughout the, the Middle East in different countries. In almost all cases, more than 90% of the consumption of the website is done on mobile. And the common mistake I see when looking at text design layout is it's designed for the desktop and then we squeeze it down to mobile. There's why? More than 90% are doing it on mobile. Let's do it very nicely done on mobile in terms of design and then we'll, you know, we'll widen it and, and tweak it for, for, for desktop. When it comes to text and images and bullets and so on, so when you, when you have here the elements of it, you'd look at how much can I fit. So if you do it on a small paper or on a, when you do it like a design sort of thing, uh, my advice is there are a bunch of stencil, stencils that you can get, which is a printout of a, what a mobile device is, and you can scribble on it. You'll see how little you can fit. So instead of having like a Word document and you start to write a bulleted list of the features or bulleted list of the services uh, on Word, it's a nice long document and you'll tend to write. But if you're on a tight paper, you won't have enough uh, room. So you'll automatically start to be more concise when it, when it comes to that.